One misconception a homeowner might have during the warm weather seasons is that air conditioners run out of refrigerant and need to be filled up. Well, Sean McGraw is here from American Veteran Air Conditioning to clear that misconception up. Good morning, Sean. Good morning to you. Uh, first off, you want people to understand the AC is a sealed system, so refrigerant doesn't escape unless there's a leak somewhere. So adding more doesn't solve that problem, does it? That's absolutely right. If you're just adding more, you're just going to continually be paying to add more later. So. Like you said, it's a sealed system. The only way it gets out is either it has a leak or you've got a neighborhood crackhead over there huffing the refrigerant. That's all I can think of. <laughs> but it's gotta be looked at, it's gotta be addressed. Um, what do you say to somebody whose energy bills keep going up, it's taking longer to cool their homes. Um, I imagine it's a real red flag if the systems keep running and cannot make it to a comfortable temperature. What could be the problem? There could be a, I mean, I could think of an array of issues. I'll just highlight a couple of them. So one would, could definitely be the systems either undersized or oversized. Uh, if it's oversized, you can be really cool in your house down, but you have that humidity level in your house that it's not able to take out. Uh, the other thing I could think of in there is on heat pumps, a lot of times we come across this is where the electric heat is stuck on. There's sequencers in there. They can be, they could fail in the on position or the off position. If they fail in the on position, basically you're heating and cooling your house at the same time. And you'll usually notice that with your six, seven hundred dollar power bill. Yeah, that would be hard not to notice. Um, we touched on this last week a little bit. Some homeowners might spot ice on their coils or they'll start hearing unusual noises coming from their systems. What do we need to know in that case? Um, with ice on the coil, that's never a good thing. So go ahead and turn the system off the outdoor unit. If you can leave the indoor unit running, that's great. Let that fan keep going across the coil till it finally defrost it. I would personally check my filters first just to make sure they're not completely caked. Um, if they are, go ahead and replace them. Their chances are you're fine, and that was the whole root cause of the problem. Um, with weird noises and things like that, you know, give us a call. We'll come out. If you want to try to explain it to us on the phone, that's great. We'll record it and have a laugh later. But uh, you know, give us a, it's going kunk kunk or whatever you might say. <laughs> but no, I mean, the more information we can get, the better we're there to really try to solve the problem and the whole problem, not just the symptom of it. Absolutely, and in the, in the spirit of that troubleshooting and, and kind of teaching people, you share a lot of helpful advice and videos on YouTube, so there's a lot to learn there, but uh, a lot of people don't want to worry about any of it, so you offer the all-in-one comfort plan. That's you installing a new system, maintaining it for 10 years, and then fixing things before they break at no extra cost, all for less than what somebody might pay for their cell phone bill. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of peace of mind for people, isn't it? It is, it is, and I, you know, one of the questions I get, especially from other contractors, is how are you doing this? And uh, really the answer is because of my people that are putting it in and maintaining it. I, I got so much faith in the install crew when they're installing it. The most important day of a system is the day it was started up, that it was installed properly. But on top of that is the maintenance guys that are going behind it and making sure it's properly maintained. So I'm, because of all that, pretty well know that it's not gonna be failing anything major within that 10 years. If it does, we're still gonna fix it, but we're also gonna fix the small things along the way and catch them proactively before you have a major failure. And we don't, like you said, we don't charge it. You can back up all that work because you know it's being done right and people love that. Um, they'll wanna contact American Veteran at the number on screen, 4350822, or visit AmericanVeteranAC.com. Sean McGraw, always a pleasure to have you. Thanks for being here. Always great to be here. Thank you. God bless you. Hey, look, if y'all are looking for more tips, we're always looking for your feedback and we want to answer your questions and we will on a regular basis on our YouTube channel. So subscribe right here to our YouTube channel, not here, here to our YouTube channel. <laughs> and we'll, we'll try to make sure we take care of all the questions and answer them efficiently for you. Y'all take care. God bless.